tuned to the biggest football match in the world. The world biggest football match. I became obsessed with finding this match since I was 10. I remember scrolling the web where I saw it was watched in 180 countries by over 600 million football fans. But is this match really different and better than other big rivalries? That was a question I had back then. And now I'm going to find out for myself. Because I still have that question. Also, why is this such a big rivalry when both clubs are separated by over 600 kilometers? Let's save that one for later. But most importantly, has this match not become a big tourist attraction and do both fans actually hate each other? Probably. So I have to see it for myself. Honestly, I never thought I was going to make it to a match like this. Tickets are not cheap. Ticket for this match is 490 euros. But then I remembered what this community stands for. We always do it. And this just does that. So now I'm off to the biggest football match in the world to see if the hype is real. Let's go. And I'm in Barcelona for El Clasico at the Camp now. But as you can see, the game won't be played here, it's somewhere else. We only need to wear the right jersey in 3, 2, 1. Now we're ready. I'm so excited for this one. Let's go. When I headed my way to Estadio Olympique at the Mont Duke, I decided I had to rate my experience to four different categories to really tell you if this is the biggest game in the world. Al Barça. All Barça fan, uh, we have to hate Real Madrid. There is a political reason. We are from, from Catalonia. And Madrid, they are from Spain, so... Visca el Barça! But after walking around for a while, I didn't feel any passion. People were just chilling, but it didn't feel it was about to begin the biggest match in the world. So, a 2 out of 10 for the first category. Then it was time to go in, except for this Real Madrid scarf. And all of this is possible thanks to my partnership with AC Momento. The app for all sports fans, where you can track all your football matches and share it with your friends. The app supports over 600 football leagues and tournaments globally plus friendlies. This was the right moment to let all my friends on the app know I'm at the El Clasico. You can download Momento for free and I will follow back everyone that installs the app via my link in the description. So show me which matches you are going to. Then the Real Madrid players came out for their warming up, but the stadium was still half empty. It was a bit better when the Barca players came out to warm up, but still not an impressive atmosphere. So for the second category I have to give a 4 out of 10. Almost time for the players to arrive on the pitch. And I think we can expect a big Carrillo. I gotta say, this looks Then it became silent and the club song started full a cappella. So for that I had to switch the number of the first category from 2 to 7 out of 10. All of when they sang a cappella, that was seriously goosebumps. Today I support Barca, so I hope they will win today. Here we go, El Clasico! From the first moment it became obvious that Barca fans didn't like the Real players. And they made a fair bit of noise.
What a start to El Clasico. 1-0 Barcelona. After the goal, the Barca fans were unstoppable and for the first time there was an atmosphere throughout the whole stadium. At this point, the Barca fans were much louder than Real Madrid fans, who just sat silently in the way end. At every big chance or foul from Real Madrid, the Barca fans did show some real passion, which I enjoyed. Real Madrid tried to do something back, but the Barca defense was simply too strong at this point. And at corners you could see how many tourists there were, like literally everyone was holding their phone up. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed the way Barca is playing. The atmosphere is decent, I would say. I joined the other side because I think the atmosphere is way more enjoyable over here. And we just gotta see for the second half how the game turns out. For me, a 7 out of 10 right now. But of course, watching Barca vs Real, the quality is of course insane. So it's time for the second half. Let's go. Barca is so close to the second goal. I mean, fair play to them. They're trying to make the best of it and create an atmosphere. But for the biggest club in the world, the biggest match in the world, you would say the atmosphere would be a bit more aggressive and a bit more tense. And that's not really the case. Also, I do feel like there are still a lot of tourists, like a lot. <laughs> But then, when Barca thought they were controlling the game, one man stood up for Real. Honestly, what a strike. Like, Bellingham is such an unreal baller. He just proves it over and over again. What a goal. When the game was at its end, I figured it out. Whether this is the biggest game in the world or not seems to these people irrelevant. They are here, with some exceptions there, to celebrate the most beautiful game between two of the best teams. Every time these two face each other it can go either way. And I think that's also what makes this fixture so special. It is tense for the full 90 minutes. And there is always one player that makes the difference. Barcelona tried it one more time with their goalkeeper, but it was too late. And that's another crazy experience of all thanks to AC Momentum. I'm going to ensure this moment for sure in the app, so make sure to follow me. And I will follow everyone back who follows me today. Is the football great? Yes. Is there a decent atmosphere? Yes. Is it the biggest game in the world? I don't think so. You decide that we have to go to Barca for scale, so 